In May 1848, the new borough of Warrington created the first public museum in a manufacturing district and also the first public library in the country. Seven years later, the foundation stone of the present premises was laid and over the following century and a half, the building evolved to become Warrington's Central Library and Museum. A new art gallery was added during the 1870s in order to house the work of famous sculptor John Warrington Wood. This is his statue of St Michael overcoming Satan, which was cut from a block of marble weighing 15 tonnes. This bust, also by Wood, depicts William Beaumont, first mayor of Warrington and one of the founders of the museum. Our human history gallery has been preserved much the same as it was when created in 1936 and presents the art, life and culture of peoples from Africa, the Americas, Asia and Australasia. This grotesque two-headed Fiji mermaid was brought back from Japan around 1885. This Egyptian coffin is over 3,000 years old and belonged to Pa Ikhmenu, a priest of the Temple of Emun at Thebes. This is the mummy of an Egyptian child who lived 2,300 years ago. An x-ray in 1982 revealed the body inside to be that of a 14-year-old boy with his arms folded across his chest. The x-ray also revealed that the boy was suffering from a rare form of arthritis and probably died as the result of a skull fracture. This is a shrunken human head from Ecuador. No one knows the full story of how this wooden head came to be in the museum collection, but it is rumoured to be cursed. All those who approach the head are supposed to suffer bad luck, but of course this is just nonsense. The early Warrington Gallery houses archaeology collections, including local Roman finds and medieval antiquities. This Roman pottery mask was probably made for an actor who specialised in tragedy. It was found near Warrington in 1869 and is extremely rare. Nothing like it has been found anywhere else in Britain. Our Friary manuscript was written at Warrington Friary in 1483. The author was Thomas Penketh, an Augustinian scholar who is mentioned by name in Shakespeare's Richard III. The Social History Gallery focuses on domestic and community life. It includes a reconstruction of an Edwardian nursery.
The curator's study is a reconstruction of a Victorian curator's office. The study also contains our spirit collection, which consists of hundreds of reptiles, amphibians and spiders preserved in alcohol. This gibbet iron was used to exhibit the body of the murderer Edward Miles in 1791. The Earth's History Gallery has recently been restored to how it would have looked in the 1930s and includes interactive facilities and family activities. This is a model of a Tichinosuchus, an ancestor of the dinosaurs who is believed to have made the numerous fossilised footprints found in the Warrington area. Entitled Flowers and Fruit, this is a particularly fine example of the work of Dutch master Jan van Os. This painting, entitled Warrington from Atherton's Quay, is dated 1772 and is one of the earliest depictions of the town. <laughs> 